The sewer system in Germany now includes approximately 10 million manholes. About 1 million of these require rehabilitation. Causes include corrosion, groundwater infiltration, and defective connections, channels, and berms. One such case was a concrete manhole with a diameter of 1,200 millimeters in Schockwitz near Halle. This manhole had been so badly corroded by hydrogen sulfide that it was no longer structurally sound. As a result, the Salza Sanitation District opted to have the manhole rehabilitated using a Hobus one-piece liner. Rehabilitation with a Hobus one-piece liner involves placing a new Hobus GRP manhole within the existing structure. The old manhole remains in place, requiring only a minimum of demolition work. Connecting lines are carefully sealed and the manhole is pumped out. Next, the surrounding road surface, the manhole superstructure, and the sewer sole are removed. The economy and technical simplicity of the Hobus one-piece liner makes it the best option for manhole rehabilitation in both cities and villages and wherever it is important to minimize the cost and duration of construction work. A comprehensive comparison of available options in the planning stage showed this to be the case. Having had bad experience with other solutions, the planners decided to play it safe this time. The old cast iron ladder rungs are removed. Concrete soling is poured. Hobus pipes can be manufactured in variable diameters and lengths. This minimizes the diameter sacrificed when placing the manhole liner. The finished manhole is only a few millimeters narrower. Hobus manhole liners are manufactured in one seamless piece. They are suitable for use even in very deep manholes. The lightweight liners are easy to install. Only light construction equipment is required. The prefabricated GRP manhole liner is lowered into the existing manhole, positioned and aligned. Another advantage is that the GRP manhole channel does not require a master form. This makes it possible to implement any bend or radius of curvature. Now the manhole connections are joined to the existing inlet and outlet lines. Short pipe segments are inserted to bridge the space between the new and old manhole. GRP laminate is applied to fix each segment in place and create a permanent seal. This creates a smooth channel and eliminates abrupt step-offs. The shipping eyes are removed and the holes are then pressure sealed. Rehabilitation with a Hobus manhole liner has several advantages. Permanent structural stability, variable connections, low maintenance manhole with a long service life, permanently watertight, highly corrosion resistant, small structural dimensions, quick and easy installation. Now the temporary seals can be removed to allow the water to flow through the new Hobus manhole. Liquid grout is poured into the space between the liner and the old manhole. This bonds them together. The next step is to reconstruct the superstructure. Once the taper and manhole cover have been replaced, the road surface is reconstructed. In this case, the concrete taper was supplied by a local building supply company. It too is sealed with laminate at the site, making it permanently resistant to corrosion. All other manhole components of reinforced concrete 
are normally supplied from the factory with an inner lining of GRP laminate. In Schockwitz, the economical Hubo's one-piece liner once again proved to be an efficient, permanent solution for manhole rehabilitation.